Well, it's no secret the population in Ada County is growing, but have you ever thought about how that impacts the coroner's office? Simply put, more people living in the valley means more people are dying in the valley, and now their resources are stretching thin. We're just continuing to get busier and busier. With thousands of people constantly moving to Ada County, the coroner's office is struggling to keep up. And it's not just Ada, it's the entire state. You know, I've spoken with coroners around the state that would have three or four calls a week in a rural area, and now they're at almost full time. Since 2011, Owen's office has seen their caseload increase by more than 75%. And when a big part of your job is to safely store human bodies, it's a pretty big predicament when you simply run out of room. We need more cooler space. Our, yeah, our cooler, we're consistently full. If we had any kind of mass fatality incident here whatsoever, um, you know, we would really be struggling. We'd be scrambling. Right now, they can hold about 20 people at a time, but with an overwhelming increase in fatal overdoses and completed suicides, it's a sad reality. Space fills up fast. Well, what happens is we've got a weekend buildup, right? And so from that Friday afternoon to Monday morning, we are completely packed. On any given Monday, they're likely to have more than a dozen autopsies to perform, plus forensic work coming in from other counties. For instance, this morning we had two out of counties that came in um, and they were gone by 11 o'clock. Without much of a choice, they'll be expanding their cooler over the next year, a $500,000 project. But Owen says there's just not enough room to grow at their current location, hoping for a new facility in the future. We are working with our county commissioners on a master's facilities plan. Um, planning for a new facility down the road. One of the driving factors is the desire to increase their staff, something they simply can't do in their current building. We are maxed out on space. I have no, our office space has is all being occupied. Um, if I needed to hire a third full-time doctor right now, I couldn't do it. And with Boise's popularity on the rise, relief doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon. Well, officials say a teenager at the center of a statewide Amber Alert earlier this afternoon has been found safe. Your phone probably alerted you about that missing 16 year old from Mountain Home around noon today after her family reported her missing. Police believe she was abducted from her home in the middle of the night by 24 year old Eric Javier Miramontes Anaya. Elmore County officials say the pair was found in Boise. No word yet if they've uh, filed any charges. A brand new program operating out of St. Alphonsus in Boise hopes to stop the cycle of deadly drug overdoses in Idaho. They're connecting drug overdose patients with local recovery coaches before they even leave the hospital. One of the key components, program leaders say, is each coach has a deep understanding of addiction, approaching these fragile relationships with firsthand experience. It's real human connection. It's not fake, because I can say to somebody, I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember feeling like that. I remember going through this. This is what I did to get out. Do you want to try this? Sometimes they say no. I'm like, awesome. What do you think is going to work? Tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, hear more about how this program works and meet the coaches already making a difference right here in the Treasure Valley. Well, the Firebird Raceway opened up back in 1968 in an effort to provide families with affordable entertainment while allowing drivers who live their lives a quarter mile at a time to tear it up on the track. Six on your side, Steve Den shows us why this track just north of Eagle means so much to the community. I feel the need, the need for speed at Firebird Raceway. I just love it. I can't 